This is your host, RPG Reseller. Welcome to the second video in the Da Da Nail series. Now that you know how to uh, set up and configure Da Da Nail, now let's use it. Let's go to View Subscribers. And here is where that list of how many subscribers to show per page when dealing with them this is where that comes into play and importance because if you had this set at some ridiculous number like 10,000 this page would take a little while to load so 100 keeps it manageable uh, also if you happen to search for subscribers um, you can search for just about anything uh, you, just the first part of an address the last part some part in the middle everything goes However, depending on your query, you might get a lot of results. And uh, it's unlikely that you'll ever get over 100 unless you used a really crappy query, though. So, I recommend just using 100. Each list starts out with a global maximum uh, number of subscribers of 25,000. So, if you need to mail more than 25,000 people, then you either need to use more multiple lists, or rather than multiple lists, uh, what you can do is cycle through. Uh, add a whole bunch of subscribers, send mail to all of them, and then take that same list of subscribers and import all of those people into a blacklist. That prevents uh, those people from ever being mailed again uh, in the remote possibility that you have for example a hundred files on your computer that are all loaded with email addresses and you might have a couple repeats uh, well if somebody says that they don't want your spam and then their email is on 50 of those different files Oh, well, they're going to get a lot of email from you. They're not going to be too pleased about it. That's where the power of a blacklist comes in. So right now we're at the view page. Let's go to the add subscribers page. And notice that uh, I'm on my subscribers tab when I do that. If I was on my blacklist tab and then I clicked on that same link, add, then that would be adding people to my blacklist. Alright, so I was at subscribers, I clicked on add, and now I have a new page where I can add in subscribers, one per line, one per row, and just copy paste into this text area. Or I can upload them in CSV format and CSV format was discussed in one of my previous uh, mailing list marketing videos. Go find it. Look it up. Dada Mail does give you the wonderful opportunity of porting in information uh, such as someone's first name, last name, putting that into an email, subject line, body, you name it. Just to give an example of the process, I'm going to add an imaginary email address. So we click on Verify Subscribers. And this area will populate with a list of everybody that you just added. And for any addresses which were improperly formatted, you will see them down below in a different list. That gives you an opportunity to fix the formatting yourself. But most importantly, it just filters out all the crap so that you're left with usable stuff. Um, Dada Mail, as I said previously, can be used to clean a list of any improperly formatted emails. And that's exactly how, I do, how you do it. You import and then export. Uh, now I have an option. I can either send out an invitation to everybody saying, hey, here's my mailing list. Do you want to join? Yes or no? And then they click on a link to decide. 
if they want to join. But that's not very powerful. It's more powerful just to subscribe them straight up. Don't ask for permission. So that's what I'll do with my imaginary address. Subscribe. Am I sure? Yes, I am. Click OK. All right. One address has been subscribed. And now I'm back at the View My List page, viewing my subscribers. And now it's time for a usage tip. In the event that you need to do a query and you actually do want to see thousands at a time, then uh, of course you can set your display options accordingly. And after doing so, you can click on check all and select all of them. Like for example, maybe you wanted to take all the Yahoo addresses out and uh, isolate them. That's how to do it thousands at a time. Send subscribers to list owner. You can guess what that does. Open subscribers in new window. Also self-explanatory. Let's take a quick look at the blacklist. Under the blacklist page, there are some options that we can select. And the default options are just fine. And you'll notice that the blacklist subscriber list uh, functions exactly the same as the first list that we just took a look at. All the same functions and everything. Although, we get a few extra options over here for uh, what we can do with them. Dada Mail also has a white list, and as you can predict, all the uh, interface functionality and options is exactly the same. Although, you do have an option to either activate or deactivate your white list and if you're doing proper list management, then the whole idea of having a whitelist in the first place is a little bit redundant. Now, if you want to send a web page to somebody, uh, .mail will use a template, and you just fill out a form and provide some details about a page, such as your description, the page link, yada yada, and then you hit the go button and you're done. But let's just send a message now. Let's click over here, send a message. And of course, 99% of everybody has email uh, in HTML format. So I do not recommend using the plain text version. Uh, however, uh, Dada Mail will allow you to send an email in HTML and plain text both at the same time. Their mail client will display whatever is most appropriate for them. For example, if they can't see HTML, then they'll only see plain text. And for HTML, what you want to do is use an HTML editor, because we don't have FCK editor uh, enabled right now on this. Otherwise, uh, we would be able to uh, just work with a WYSIWYG editor right now, right here. Uh, we don't have that. What we have is just a big text area. Uh, so, we need to work with an HTML editor, make a page, then click on View Source, and then just go Copy and Paste. After you've done that, you can even do file attachments, if you so wish. Then down here in the bottom, bottom right hand corner, there is an option to submit a test message and decide where that message goes to. Uh, I recommend always doing that to make sure uh, that you get a chance to see exactly how your email is going to look before 
you go ahead and submit to the entire list by clicking on this message here on this button here and that's it I've shown you how to set up data mail and I've taken you all the way to the green button where you send out your message now you're done